For the third straight year, the Roseau girls basketball team is back in the Class 2A state tournament, but this time the Rams come in a perfect 29-0 and the top team in the state in 2A. Earlier this afternoon, they began their state tourney run, taking on New Richland HEG. First half, both teams struggling out of the gates, but then Kylie Baravich got the offense going, knocking down the NBA range three Rams within two. Later in the half, Rams up double digits now. Baravich finds Victoria Johnson down low for the bunny. Rozo goes up 14, but the Panthers would claw their way back. Grace Johns finds Betsy Schoenrock with a beautiful wraparound pass. NRHEG would trail by just nine at half, but the Rams would start to run away with things in the second half. Katie Baravich gets the steal, finds sister Kylie on the fast break. She led all scorers with 28, Rams up 18. They would score 45 points off 34 Panther turnovers, including this fast break layup from Casey Baravich. She added 22 as the Rams roll to victory, 82-64. It's kind of like the same as the last three games of our playoff games where we have had a rough start and then coming into halftime we're only up by like two or five or like 15 and we just knew like we had to play better. Our defense and our press wasn't going so well for us in the first half so our game is a lot of steals and just getting up the court and fast breaking so we just kind of had to get back into our rhythm, and I think we came out with that in the second half. And that's kind of a status quo for us to get our offense going with our uh, with our defense and getting some of those steals and quick buckets. But we aren't always real patient, you know. We like to kind of score in a flurry, and um, so that definitely fueled us and kind of got us settled into the game. Um, and yeah, just like I said, a lot of confidence for myself and I think from the girls once we get the lead that, um, that, that for the other team, it's going to be tough to play with us for a 36 minute game if you're coming from behind. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.